Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 12th of 2023 well, it is titled NGC 206 and the star clouds of Andromeda. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a portion of the Andromeda galaxy. Now the Andromeda galaxy is a large spiral galaxy, a little bit larger than our own Milky Way. And otherwise, it's a similar structure. It will have the same central core with a supermassive black hole, which would be well off this image as we're looking at just one portion of it. And we can see parts of the spiral structure and dark dust lanes and the blue star clouds and red hydrogen gas that populate the spiral arms. And those signify star formation. Now one of the things we're looking at here is the star cluster at the middle, which is NGC 206. Now this is a part of the Andromeda galaxy and is an extremely massive star cluster. So it was a giant uh, star forming region and now a giant star cluster. The distance across it is 4000 light years. So really comparable to some of the really large uh, star forming regions that we see in other galaxies and it dwarfs the open clusters that we see at least in our portion of the Milky Way. Now the blue stars tell us that it's very young. And in fact, these stars are less than 10 million years old. And we can determine that by looking at the colors and the types of stars that are there. The bluer a star is the hotter and more massive it is and those hot and massive stars do not live for a very long time. So if a star only lives for 10 million years and we see it around, that means it had to have formed within the last 10 million years. If it had formed 20 million years ago, it would be gone. It would have gone through its life and it would no longer exist. So the fact that we see them means that they had to have formed recently. We also see all of those pink hydrogen regions, which are also associated with star formation and are associated with those same very hot stars. Those hot stars energize the leftover hydrogen gas around them and cause it to glow. When hydrogen gas glows, it gives off a distinct red color. And we can see a number of these hydrogen regions here. A comparable thing in our own Milky Way would be something like the Orion Nebula. Against these would be dwarfing that in terms of size these would be much much larger than the Orion Nebula. So sometimes there are even larger star forming regions and there may be larger ones within our galaxy as well as we simply cannot see our entire galaxy because of our position within it. There are parts of the other side of our galaxy that are essentially invisible to us because we are within the galaxy and we can't see through all those dust lanes. When we look at Andromeda, we have the advantage of looking down on it. So we can look down and see it from above, see the spiral structure. For our galaxy, we're looking from inside, making it much harder to map out the structure and composition of our own galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for April 12th of 2023. It was titled NGC 206 and the star clouds of Andromeda. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be intergalactic wanderer. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.